What's up with it, man? It's your boy P1 back in here again with another GTA 6 video. You know, it's been a while since I've been here and uh, done any GTA 6 videos, but I'm back. I'm making some more for y'all. There's a couple things that I do want to cover, but I think we're going to be sticking with like five things. Of, you know, obviously those things we want to see in GTA 6. So, therefore, I'm here. I'm going to talk to you about it and what we can actually see. So, if you're ready, yeah, make sure you buckle up, man. Run for the cops. We're about to get it in. So, the first one we're going to talk about is a fully interactive open world all right so imagine living breathing environment where every building can be entered and every npc has a story to tell from the vibrant nightlife to dynamics weather systems we want to see an immersive experience like there before but just imagine now the second one we want to see is an enhanced storytelling and character development so obviously number two is enhanced storytelling and character development we would hope to actually have a complex narrative that actually connects players with characters on a deeper level. So it can be like, you know, choices that truly impact the game world and, you know, relationships with characters that would actually elevate the storytelling in exciting ways. So just imagine having a girlfriend in the game, you know, or a close friend or a best friend, you can call a best friend or something like that. I think it's something different they can actually add in the game. So you guys tell me in the comment, all right? So the third one is diverse gameplay mechanics. So obviously this is number three, right? So we want to see diverse approaches to missions from full on heist to stealthy infiltrations, including, you know, mechanics like crafting, base building, and expanded vehicle customization that actually will have a layer to the gameplay experience. I mean, who would, who would want an actual mechanic to be crafting and base building? Who wouldn't want that? Uh, we're getting close to the end, y'all, but we are at number four. So we want to expand online and multiplayer feature. You know, GT Online has set a high bar, but we dream of a more seamless integration of single multiplayer experience. So with larger player counts and new game modes, well, new game modes and a continuous update that keeps the world fresh and exciting. Let's say, you know, a vegetation needs to be kind of like changed up or clean or something like that. We see leaves and stuff falling in this vicinity for a couple of days. We have maintenance guys, whatever coming out or whatever it is, you know, clean that up. Just something new, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, finally, let's talk about realistic AI and NPC interactions. Now, we want a game where NPCs reacted differently based on the gameplay choices. So turning the city into a reactive ecosystem this will create an unpredictable and engaging environment that players would love to explore. Let's say we go over there, we kick something. We kick a, a recycled plastic bottle or something. We have an NPC come in and just walks and stops and be like, hey, are you going to pick up that and, and stop littering? Or are you going to make this place a better place? Whatever it is. Or, you know, you spray paint a wall out of nowhere. NPCs come kind of round up and they're just looking at you like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you spray painting the wall? I'm going to report this to the cops. Or even better, let's just say you go and, you know, kind of harass somebody. You know, you're just, I don't know, chasing around somebody. That NPC is going to turn around and kind of react to it and, and ex explain why it's not good to be a bully or something like that. You know what I mean? So something around there, we want to see some changes on that. Which GTA 5 didn't really meet the expectations on that. But are pretty funny. But... We want to see more of, of AI NPC, smart NPC type, even with the cops, where they don't just shoot you and obviously, you know, you try to put your hands up, but they still shoot at you. We don't want that. So hopefully GTA 6 will give us something even better. Or maybe they already did. You know, maybe they already did all that, but I can't say none. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments, you guys. If you guys want me to kind of have more videos, talking about these kind of things let me know in the comment section asap please do drop a like do subscribe to the channel and turn notification bells on as well please because we are kind of like you know a little down there for some reason but if y'all want me to make some more gta 6 videos top five things we need top five worst things we don't need stuff like that y'all let me know today man you already know what it is so what p1 signing out